everyone, Honey here with Here's the Deal. Today I'm actually going to be starting a new series on my channel and this is in a response to update my information on my birth control video which I released just about two years ago. And um, I have since learned, I've learned, um, I have received much better education about how to teach that information and I just feel like some of the things that I said in that video are kind of just not good. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a series on here about birth control and it's going to just be purely informational. Um, I may share a little bit of my personal experience but it's best not to because each of these methods work really different with every person um, and what may work for me, may not work for you, and vice versa. So um, it's always good to take personal experience with a grain of salt. This series is going to cover a different method of birth control every single video. If you want to know more about the pill, click on this video. If you want to know more about the ring, click on this video. Before I start though, I want to ask you guys some questions. True or false? Birth control pills make you fat. The answer to that is false. In fact, birth control pills do not make you fat. The pill can make you retain water and it creates the appearance of weight gain. Uh, this isn't necessarily a permanent change. Uh, it will usually go away once your body gets used to the hormones. Um, another thing is that your birth control pill contains progesterone. Well, most of them do. Not all of them, but most of them do. Um, and that may be to blame, ladies. Progesterone can for some people cause an increase in appetite and if you have an increase in appetite you may have an increase in eating and an increase in eating can be weight gain right so it's not the pill itself that's going to make you gain weight it just may be a side effect of taking the progesterone true or false your body needs to take a break from birth control the answer is false there are, are, is no studies to suggest that you need to take a break from taking your birth control. Your body does not get used to the hormone, so it's not like your body just, you know, acclimates somehow and gets tolerant. Nope, that doesn't happen. The hormones do not build up in your body, so they just get flushed out. That's why if you miss pills, you can actually get pregnant because the hormones don't actually just stay in your body that whole time. Being on the pill for a long time can make it harder for you to get pregnant later. The answer to that is false. In fact, if you miss just two pills in your pack, you can get pregnant. So, no, that's not true. True or false, it is unhealthy to use birth control to skip your period. False. That is not true. That is a big fat myth. As long as you are healthy, it is safe to take your pill packs back to back in order to skip a period. This doesn't hurt you in any way. There's actually um, doctors who will recommend that. Say if you're going on vacation, if you have your honeymoon or your wedding, um, special events, that type of stuff. So it's not unhealthy. And there are actually some brands that will actually just automatically do that for you where you can do back-to-back -back pills. There's no placebo week. So if that's something you're interested in, talk with your doctor. My last true and false question for you guys. Using two condoms instead of one will double your protection. That is a big fat no-no. Using two condoms at the same time can actually cause them to break. Both break. Uh, the, the, they don't like to be that close to each other. So um, it can actually break down the material in the condoms and then instead of double protection, you get double the no-no. Um, that increases your risk of pregnancy, STIs, all sorts of stuff. So no, double is not better.